everyone. My name is Missy Howard and thank you for tuning in to the Trucker Barbie channel. Today this video is about team driving. This video is specifically about how to be a good team driver. Number one, this is my main peeve in team driving and it probably is for the rest of you. Do not slam this door. Let me introduce the quiet door close. You open the door, okay? You get out to go into the shipper or receiver's building or something, or you get out to fuel and you close the door like this, and you pull it shut like that. That is how you close a door. It is not like this. I repeat, it is not like this, okay? That's very irritating. All right, so don't do that. Okay, <clears throat> the next thing would be stop griping and complaining about the job. Nobody wants to hear your griping and complaining, okay? Try to keep it to a minimum. It's okay to talk about your feelings, but when you're constantly griping and complaining, it really pulls everybody down around you, okay? It's really a drag to be around somebody that gripes and complains every time the truck sits for a day or something like that. Quit thinking truck driving is about driving all the time because it's not. You are going to sit. I repeat, you are going to sit sometimes when you are a truck driver. Okay? The third thing would be when your team driver is in the back sleeping, try not to go back there if you can help it. Okay? Um, what I do is I take all of my things that I'm going to need for the whole day and I bring them up front and I put them in the front seat, okay? That way I don't have to go back there and interrupt my team driver's sleep, okay? If you do have to go back there, go back there quietly, okay? Uh, another thing, keep it quiet up front. Listen to your music using earbuds. Keep your phone conversations as quiet as you can. Okay, let your team driver sleep because when they wake up, they've got to take the wheel and your life is in their hands. You want them to be well rested. Okay, another thing, share space. Okay, don't take up the whole dang refrigerator. That's inconsiderate. Take about half. Let them have the other half. Same with the freezer. Same with the rest of the storage space, okay? What I do is, okay, this tractor has two side boxes on the right and one side box on the left. We put the chains in the side box right under the bunk, okay, and all the tools, triangles, uh, fire extinguisher, all of that, okay, is in these, uh, three side boxes that are on the tractor. In the back under the trailer, this is a straight truck, okay? I do have a class A, but I drive a straight truck. I put all my things in plastic boxes in the side box, and I let my team driver take whatever cabinet space is in here, okay? And then we have a cabinet for cooking things, and we have a, um, I'm talking about utensils, pots and pans, that kind of thing. And uh, then we have uh, our own, like, uh, little cabinet for food, okay? Um, so share space, don't slam doors, keep the front quiet, take up everything that you're going to need for the day, take it up front, okay, to minimize the need to go to the back for anything. Um, when your team driver is asleep, you may have to stop the truck for half an hour, an hour. It's 110 degrees outside sometimes, or it's zero degrees out sometimes. Reach back very quietly, okay, and turn on the APU for them. And try to keep it the temperature that they want. Talk to them about that. Do you want me to turn the APU on for you when I go to lunch? That kind of thing, okay? But try to do it very quietly, okay? Um, don't slam on the brakes. Don't hit every pothole, okay, in the parking lot if you can help it. Parking lot speed is supposed to be five miles per hour. I repeat, five miles per hour. 
And if you drive that way, your chances of waking up your team driver are going to be a lot less. Okay, so try to drive as gently as you can. Okay, and encourage your team driver and encourage yourself to use the safety net over the bed. Okay, if you get thrown out of bed and you're not using the safety net, that's your fault. That's not your team driver's fault. So get that straight. Okay. Sometimes drivers have to slam their brakes on to keep from having an accident. People pull out in front of you. You never know what's going to happen. They're not doing it on purpose. It's your responsibility to fasten yourself in back there and stay fastened in. Um, before you take off, ask your team driver, hey, are you secure back there before I take off? Okay. Don't just, you know, jerk the truck as hard as you can and take off knowing that they're back there trying to get their blanket uh, situation straightened out knowing that they're still walking around back there you know you don't want to hurt anybody so these are some little tips that will help you be a better team driver and uh, I'm gonna have more okay but that's that's pretty much uh, it for right now and I'll get back with you guys later have a great day bye bye